All right, as a uh, full-time prop maker um, in Southern California, um, time is money, and you always wanted to create a prop, uh, whether it's creating it through machining or milling or casting or whatever, um, you don't want to make mistakes. And the more mistakes you make, the more time it takes, and, and that becomes a problem. Uh, this particular item uh, can be printed lying down like this, but then you have the problem with a possible warping uh, from the, the print surface. And so what I did is I uh, literally redesigned um, the prop or the, uh, the model. And I'm going to go ahead and set this down to show what I did. Uh, basically you want to avoid any kind of supports or anything that will affect the completion of the prop. So let's go ahead and put this down here, tilt this back. So if it was printed like this in one piece, you would indeed have an issue or you have to deal with uh, the, the warping that could happen. You might use a brim, a raft, glue, uh, or whatever. Um, what I tend to do is look at the model as it's supposed to be and then say, well, how do I print it in this particular case t to avoid uh, glue, brims, raft, supports, or anything like that. So I took the model and printed it and redesigned it to be printed standing up. But then, of course, then there's the issue. They'll say, well, it's not going to be sturdy. Uh, because if there's any weight on the top of here, this has to hold any weight, um, that would be a problem because it would be printing uh, this way, going up, rather than printing this way, okay? I think, in my opinion, it looks better uh, printed standing up, but now you've got to deal with, of course, the issue of, 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 of rigidity. So, Obviously, the best thing to do would be to print this as a skin only. Don't rely on PLA plastic to support any weight up here. So what you do is you redesign it and put a metal shaft down the center, okay? And that would then be glued into place. And what would happen is that shaft would run all the way through the center, and then it would support or, or, or help create a, a situation where it won't snap in half, okay, because you have the metal, in this case, a tube, because then you could run wires uh, up the tube and then uh, light uh, anything that you might have at the top. So it's, it's so obvious what you would do, just print it in parts. So what I did, and if you do print it standing up, uh, you might have to deal with supports uh, for each one of these ribs right here, or a support for the top. So again, you redesign it to be printed in parts, like this would be printed separately on the table, flat to the table. This would be printed separately, like this, flat to the table. This could be printed lying down or, again, printed flat to the table with a hole down the center so that, again, this shaft or a metal, some sort of steel uh, or metal, in this case it's brass, um, will will make this portion more rigid and less likely to break. Uh, anything that's 3D printed in PLA plastic or anything uh, has that tendency to possibly uh, shear off. So when you do that, then you won't have that problem. The ribs then could be printed individually. Each one of these, as you can see here, uh, are printed individually flat to the table. This is printed standing up like this so that it can be printed upward so that everything is printed um, uh, horizontally like that and then just assemble it so again it, it's kind of uh, you know printing 101 um, how to design something to be more efficient so that it might be more parts but it'll be a much cleaner piece and for the movie industry it's very uh, uh, important uh, to have the print the, the piece print properly uh, it'll be a less issues with covering uh, certain issues or, or whatever when you go to paint and things like that so anyway this is what I would recommend for a particular item of that shape uh, you don't necessarily want to print it flat to the table even though it's printing horizontally uh, across like that but again you have other issues to deal with um, I again want to uh, you know print it in such a way that it makes it easier for me and uh, it looks better on camera all right, thank you for watching.